Marissa, that's right. If you take a look behind me, you will see there is a road closure. It is quite dark out, so as you're driving, it's harder to see in front of you, harder potentially to see water, potentially making the drive even more dangerous. We've been all over today here in Bradford to Washington to Ackworth, all over float roads are flooded. I got to get home. I have livestock, you know, I got to get the baby home. Megan Clifford of Ackworth says she thought she was going to have to walk home holding her child in her arms because of road closures amid the heavy flooding. Now she says she's scared of what she'll find when she does eventually get back. It's devastating to the farming community. Um, I mean, I haven't really assessed our place yet. We just moved in and we're just getting settled. In Alstead, the fire department says a woman's car was trapped on Fairbrook Road. She stopped to call 911 when the water carried her and her car into the brook. The fire department managed to help her out and she is okay. Over in Bradford, fire officials reporting heavy flooding also. They say there are road closures and buildings threatened. Officials are urging everyone to turn around if there's water and to not go through barriers. They remind us those barriers are up for a reason. The National Weather Service says just 12 inches of water is enough to float a small car, a SUV, small SUV, or a car. We're live in Bradford, Grace Feinerman, WMUR News.